Okay, hello guys, uh, hello everybody. Uh, I'm here. We're gonna start with you this cross stitch. If you didn't see my unboxing, I'm, I will link it up for you. As I promise, I wanna do everything from scratch with you. Um, I read the instructions. And um, first, I wanna say, guys, thank you so very much. For everyone who comment on this printed canvas that uh, give me some tips that this will be washed out after I wash the color should be disappear all these lines so I hope so but I didn't read any of this and actually on instructions doesn't say that so I hope it will go so I guess this white uh, places you don't have to stitch but I don't know if I gonna like that or not um, and I do not see white color in here so I think I will find a thread and I will stitch whole canvas I not I just don't like to leave this empty spaces so I think I will stitch this uh, as well anyway but thank you so much for a comment and give me some hint because uh, to be honest, uh, uh, all my life uh, when I cross stitch, I cross stitch on uh, only where is the camera? Like on a clear canvas, and that canvas usually was 14 count. That was like a regular thing to do. Uh, so this one is 11 count, and when I'm looking in here, on um, thread that they sent me here is marked out that I need to use three strand of thread to work on this canvas and of course from far this is crazy colorful and it's so kind of like looks complicated because at first well I guess you can follow or by the color in here or you can color by the symbols, which is symbols uh, doesn't match what what's in here on a canvas. So, for example, uh, the sky that I want to start to work on this brown piece first, it's a uh, sky, so it's like a gray 18, 18. So, this is going to be this beautiful grayish blue color stuff like that well it's gray and in here it's brown right and on the symbols and the in here is P so or you can work with this or by the color so I think I will put this away unless some symbols is not very clear maybe like transition could be uh, then I will pick a boo on this sheet and see what I need. And guys, before when I did unboxing, this picture wasn't there. So I emailed to a supplier and they do have in stock because before it was pointed out to a different uh, cross stitch and canvas that actually originally I ordered it. And then when I look later, uh, they sent me this one instead. I guess some um, mixed up is going on. So anyway, this is another gorgeous one. The other one was winter as well. Um, so I will follow the colors, I guess, and I will start from the sky. So I, what I will do, usually I like to work with my canvas in my hands. I do not like to work in two stitches I like to do in one stitch I mean two stitches at the time at once so what I'm gonna do I have in here a carousel of pins and I have this one a foam roller from diamond painting from Dreamer design this one so I'm thinking I'm gonna do this way. I should iron first maybe, but that's okay. Look, I'm gonna try to roll, and this one fit exactly actually size. Let's see what we can do, if this is gonna be comfortable or not. So I'm just gonna roll on here. 
and then I'm gonna use a couple of these pins and I'm just pin one if it's gonna go through to get okay this pin needle okay needle go inside of this foam so it's not gonna stick it out on the other side and I'm just gonna put one somewhere close to the middle like this and one on the other end in here so this way my canvas will be kind of a hold and for me I could do probably more clothes um, that's okay so mostly canvas will be holded right here I just can roll it or I can just repin it but anyway what I'm thinking if I roll and I hold like this and I'm gonna start from here I'm still would be able to stitch through the two holes at once so that's my idea I will try it's worked perfectly on a soft canvas that I started from Rollis it works really well uh, this roll is helping to hold your canvas together because I try to use the hoop I cannot work like that this is not comfortable at all unless you have the standing um, uh, frame that you stand on the floor and then holding your hoop that way maybe it's comfortable to work with one hand with the needle and the other one you pull in your thread um, so like one hand would be under canvas and one on a top so you know what you're doing um, I do not have that tool guys so I'm gonna work as it is so 18 now I'm gonna pick number 18 I'm gonna put this aside and a baggie for later and I'm gonna open 18 I don't know how many meters in here but we have to separate three of them we work by three so um, in one of this well they cut pretty short actually it's 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 not long usually when I see that that's it this is the ends like it's folded on half that would be like not not long usually I work with longer so let me see if I can zoom you a little bit more close it should be three in here I mean six so one two three one two three okay so I need to separate okay first of all I'm gonna get one away and the rest of I'm just gonna put back into my hoop up there And if you, you don't have a, this kind of cardboard, you just grab a circle punch and punch it out uh, holes from any of the cereal boxes or packing boxes, uh, like a shipping boxes, to make your own organizer. So this rest that we don't need, I will put this away for now there so we don't forget what kind of number it is now okay guys this is struggle with long nails you know that oh I think I got it okay three and three okay we got it we got it I'm gonna separate them now Did I zoom too close? Now you probably can see and see what I'm doing. So anyway, this is just a, I'm trying to separate six threads into three so I can work later. 
Okay, so now I have two of them by three. When I finish one, we'll be ready another one. So I will remember this is for my sky. Now we have here two needles, which is awesome. You can thread two different shades of color at once. I see. Um, I never ever, guys, work in a park park parking needle uh, technique. Never. Um, I don't know. It feels scary. Feels messy. Um, I don't know how you can do that. Uh, I never tried, but I watch how girls doing, and there's some lady. In, oh goodness, I cannot remember her name right now. But she, she does this parking technique. She's doing on a corner. Oh, please, if that's you, um, I cannot remember name right now of the channel, and I don't have a thread thing. I have to make it. So it looks really complicated with all those colors. Okay, guys, let's try. So I'm gonna start this symbol, uh, and I go from like from the bottom of pattern, and I will go up. So I did not secure my thread yet, and because it's a uh, three, three threads, right? So I, I don't wanna put knot. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna go through the center of my first stitch. I'm not sure if you can see it, guys. I hope you can see it. I'm trying to figure out angle of my camera yet for the cross stitching uh, because I might be gonna be covering with my fingers, so bear with me yet. I'm go through and I'm gonna leave little tail the way I'm gonna stitch I'm gonna go up and down up and down so I want to leave here a little tail maybe a little bit more shorter and now I'm going in my first corner, not on the end, but on the inside of the canvas. Like, um, not on the outside, but on the inside. So my first half cross, which will uh, fall from the left to the right. Let me just try once. I want to see if this is going to work too. Okay. So see this way because I have here, this is how I'm holding a roll. And I'm holding in my hand like this. Okay. So when I bend in here kind of, I can go through. So this little tail of the thread, I will stitch right now while I'm going to go up with my stitching. So let's just try a little bit and maybe next time I'll figure out better idea. So I'm just kind of like, you know, getting this straight and go into my next. Okay, hopefully I'm going right. Okay, it's really not comfortable right now. I have to make sure I'm on camera and to start it's a little bit complicated first so so far you see what's going on in here my tail still pointed up so when I go up and up and down I will secure this piece so from this side you're not gonna see nothing just the lines of the perfect like a perfect lines. so let's try this way If you don't like this angle, please let me know. I will try to figure out better. Um, I don't think it's very comfortable for me to do. Because I'm kind of covering for you.
Okay, be right back. Okay, I changed camera position. I don't know if this is going to be better for you or not. So let me know if angle from right now kind of from left camera before was from right. If this is better or not. So that's the way how my mom teach me to cross stitch guys. I'm just start, uh, you can start from the top as well and just go down and up. Uh, right now I think it's going to be more comfortable for me to start from the bottom. So I will go to the top this way and cross stitch literally on the top of my knee. I just put this uh, mat from the dollar store so you don't see my feet <laughs> trying to cover up evidence of my work and I'm just like holding on my lap and I never worked before with such a stiff fabric so I have to say it's challenging but it's going to be easy because it's already printed so you don't have to really count and that's the beautiful who don't like count this should be very easy for you to do so let's make a so in many cross stitching uh, designers for example in dimensions you can find a half cross stitch so this is what we're doing right now we created a half cross stitch so the full stitch when we going down and overlap our first stitch and this is guys tutorial I would say for you know for people who never ever cross stitch who don't know how to do it because uh, kind of right now our generation cross stitching is not very popular maybe in here very much um, it's popular where I from but in here in Canada I guess not as much or US so now we went to the top as you can see my thread is sticking out from a left corner of our first square so now I will overlap my cross and I'm gonna put my thread this way so I will go backwards from my right into the left and we will create our first full stitch and let's see if we can focus that's what we have it's kind of hard to see because those brown colors on there but I hope you can see them and we just continue go um, same way as we go up now we go to the same holes and we're going down and by doing a double stitch as I do so it's like not like you go here and then you have to grab a thread from this side um, this way it's faster and that's exactly the same way like I did beaded cross stitch and you can see my tutorials of beaded cross stitch if you uh, miss those video and I have probably like three or four different ways how you can start your uh, stitching so and today uh, as you can see we started from the face of our fabric and now just wait and see how this is going to look like when we're going to cover our tail that we started. You shouldn't see nothing up there. So as like I do diamond painting by the colors I'm still thinking about this cross stitching 
should I do same thing by the colors or should I do by gradually changing the colors I don't know yet how I want to do it I really would love to do finish at least one color so I can see if I have enough thread or not um, that's kind of very important right and I just like that they uh, pointed out in how many thread you have to do okay so now we're doing the last stitch where we started and our next line right this square so I go from under and I come out in the left left corner you see that not right in here where the next line start but I shoot to the corner left corner in my next row okay let's pull that out okay see what we did our first stitching from this side we will have just a line you can even see them because it's blending right now color with the but here's our first stitches right in here so now we go same thing as we did our first line we go to the I oh see it's a shadow 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 I have to bring a light ay 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 I still don't like this one so anyway now we go from the right corner and to the left and we start officially our second row I never ever stitch on 11 count I did on 14 and now I'm trying 18 oh my god 18 it's already challenging such a tiny cross stitch and the eyes not the same it was like in 20 years old you know it's getting a little blurry so guys I hope you like what I'm doing in here I know there's not enough light right now I'm just with my overhead uh, like a desk light sitting by the window but maybe let me okay hold on guys I'm gonna hopefully don't move camera I'm just gonna open blinds it's like right I'm sitting let me try to see if I can open blinds if we will have a little bit more light or not So I'm really wondering if this all these colors actually will wash out. And thank you so much for all of them, for, for all of you guys who give me some suggestion and tips and how it's work, you know. I do appreciate so much because I did not work on this kind of from Joy Sunday canvas before. And I think okay let me try it this way I think I just found better position for me I don't know if it's better for you I wonder if we can zoom a little bit more or not let's try it one more Oh, looks like I can. So let's see if it's gonna hold on focus so you can see what I'm doing from here. Kind of bending with my needle and my nails in here to make this kind of like a crease so it's easy to thread needle 
in two holes at the same time from right to left there my mom never uh, cross stitch with the um, uh, any hoop or those frames for stitching she always did this old-fashioned way and that's the way I learned from her if she has like a big fabric to work on it she would um, pinch like a fabric between her knees it's like put your leg on the top of each other right cross and then you put your fabric like um, in your leg between your knees and you kind of hold in it. Uh, and that's really comfortable actually to work this way. Maybe one day I will show you how. Now make sure, same goes for cross stitch or beaded cross stitch make sure your all your uh, stitches lay down in the same direction so if you start your half cross stitch we pointed out from left to the right right so now we are going from the left to the right but it's still it's going out from the well let's just say this one go to the right and the other one go it depends how you look in it but all my top stitches will point this way all my bottom stitches point like that way and I have to continue same way that way it's gonna look better all even For this kind of stiff fabric, I guess it would be better probably to have a frame. So if you have some um, good suggestion for a good price but sturdy one, uh, where can I get it? Maybe um, you can give me a name of the company. Um, I have to check my local store, Michael's. I'm sure they have up there something. I don't know. Do you think Michael would have? I love your guys store in USA, Joanne store. I've been there once only. Oh my God. I thought I'm in heaven when I was there. It's such a big store. And my, uh, just a minute. Okay, sorry about that. My little girl got in the house. She asked me permission if she can go to Tim Hortons with her friends. It's not far away, but I never let her go by herself. She's 11. So there's three of them going there so she can ask permission if she can go or not okay after this video I will be working more on to figure out the best way to set camera so you can see better my cross stitching and also don't see my shadow from my fingers no, it's kind of maybe because it's a uh, later on in a day and it's not as bright from the window usually uh, light from the window is the best and uh, see how nicely those stitches laying down I wonder 
why they decide not to do a white thread in here. It's going to be two big holes. You would see them if you don't stitch them. So I think, I think girls, I will do them. If that would be you, would you stitch them in white or just because obviously it represents snow because this is a roof of the house. Um, would you stitch them or you just leave as it is? Let me know in the comments. Uh, so far when I uh, stitch uh, any cross stitching, I always have like a full picture stitch. I didn't have, um, not yet. I do not have the canvas that I would have to stitch like a partial. Okay, buddy, go lay down. Catherine outside, so puppy wandering around trying to look and see her through the window. Okay. I would say my first experience with this canvas because it's a stiff so you can't really pull your stitches like over pull so the crinkle up uh, fabric cotton um, so this may be even good idea to have a stiff that way your stitches um, kind of layer in nicely and you don't really need to worry about over pull your thread This is so awkward not to stitch in for a long time. But I mean, if you learn something once, you never forget. You always will remember how we have to do it. The only thing I never learn is embroidery, you know, like the smooth coverage. And my mom did the. I don't know why I didn't want it to try, or I just try and I didn't do right I cannot remember that so I just um, decided cross stitching for me good enough see how nice and neatly on this side the only wiggles we will have where we go through like to the next line and here you will see only nice line like horizontal depends on how you stitch so let's continue a little bit more and then I will stitch by myself and give you some update how much I did so if you do your cross stitching on this pre-printed canvas do you do by the color let me actually zoom out a little do you do by the color or you do by the section so that would be probably the same as you would do like diamond painting if you are a diamond painter uh, how would you do after finishing like this color in here would you go uh, now this color then blue or you would look for this color all the way around the canvas I wonder in your techniques I just hope I have enough thread, DMC colors. Doesn't look like it's a lot of color up there, especially when you have to do in three string. Feels like it's gonna be very fast and well 
Okay, I think it would be a good idea, guys. I see my battery flashing. Because I meant to record video first in the morning after kids go to school. But then we end up went to Niagara Falls shopping for grocery. And my camera battery slowly kind of discharged by not recording and it's gonna be die anytime so I will now I'm going down to create my stitches see how pretty they are yes they are okay and uh, I will be right back when I get some progress a little bit so you can see how much we did and I'm just uh, holding it just like that so I don't know I, I really maybe need a frame for this one but I really like the idea that I can stitch like straight up from one to another you know not to go under the canvas alright I will show you progress shortly okay I did so far here's the piece that I did here is how it looks like on the back and I'm gonna show you and this is actually already fourth time I replace uh, thread in my needle so this is um, the two strain that we separate on two time because we do stitch by three threads at once so I don't know I hope I do have a uh, enough thread to finish this color so I think this first color I will do uh, everything around a whole canvas just so I have a piece in my mind that I have enough threads and I can review for you better but what I want to show you now I'm gonna show you guys how I finish my thread and how I start because the way we start in here that was the first beginning to start with and I start a little bit differently and I'm gonna show you what I do now so I already have very very short thread in here left so um, I will do my last stitch to the other side okay we're gonna pull out thread from here and all I do I just pass through the back and I hope you can see what I'm doing in here like this under those threads you're not going to see nothing in here it's not going to go through but now we're going to pull this okay and just kind of toggle slightly so it's not pulling too much in here okay let's see like that and if you have a long enough thread you can go the other opposite way this way but I'm not gonna do that this is not gonna go nowhere so in this point you you do can you can wiggle go this way and then come back uh, next line and then uh, cut but I will do right now that's it I'm gonna cut my thread in here and this will go nowhere guys and this is how I finish it's still neat you barely kind of can see in here line go up and also I want to show you before I do anything else, here is the thing that I bought from dollar store. I have a magnet in here. And then I found this little tiny magnets, okay? So I'm just like put in here and if I have to put my needle in here so I don't lose, that's what I do. Um, I put needle in here and then also I can hold it like this and try to uh, thread my needle through by using I found this piece it's easier right now because I really struggle to do I need to make my nails maybe shorter it would be much much comfortable to uh, to cross stitch so what I gonna do now I'm gonna retread my um, new new floss and then I will show you how I start from now one more tip I want to give you to pull out my thread like right now I'm working with this uh, number 18 to make this faster I'm using my tweezers that I'm using for diamond painting 
so I'm just grab from here like this from this loop and I pull out thread that I need also it's really comfortable if you have a long nails you don't have a nails it's comfortable Ooh, lots of shadow I'm making it it's comfortable to separate thread like that okay so that's the other thing that I work with my tweezers trusted tweezers and to close I'm just using a cap from the pen because this one was broken original so I replace it with the pen and it stays good okay so what I do now let's see how I start my thread I'm just gonna grab my canvas and guys I'm continue it's already late so that's why you have lots of shadows but I just wanna uh, show you a little bit uh, how I do step by step because for now I think I'm gonna finish uh, this video so okay so I have here two crosses I have left two half cross that I still have to make a full cross because I don't have enough thread so I will finish in here how I start my new thread I go on another side okay and then I start here is my line go I can see I go this way from the back I pick in a thread also a little bit of the back end of the canvas just go there okay how can I show you that it's comfortable and close to the canvas okay you see what I'm doing I'm going under and maybe I can squeeze in in here okay get under okay now I'm gonna turn around I'm gonna pull my needle and it's a little bit tight okay just a minute we're gonna get in the camera so we're gonna pull it till my tail hiding inside of my first stitch in here where I start go through now I'm holding here with my finger so I don't lose that and I go on another side and I look where I have to go to finish my line that I did not finish okay let me just try to find it from the other side sometimes it's tricky there so I'm holding here with my finger I pull and I'm kinda I'm looking on this side let me find a camera guys hold on I'm looking on this side for now so I can see that my thread in okay it's in now I'm kind of like pull very slightly but I'm still holding the thread so it's not loose and then I will do my first stitch this way by still holding my thread I'm still holding it on the other side with my finger as you can see right in here I'm holding and then I make my first cross pulling slightly like I'm just like a toggle, toggle, toggle. <laughs> okay, so now I know my thread will not escape from this side. And I can just now get comfortable as I do. And I can continue my cross stitching. And now we're gonna go into the next left corner on the top, right in there. And we're gonna continue up okay and that's how I start my new thread from the back I just did first one from the front so I can kind of look but you can start same thing in a very very beginning you just have to thread kind of like by the canvas only 
but when you go later it's easy because also you have a thread on the top so it's kind of like more secure for your thread so that's how I do without making any knots okay guys I hope this first video you like it but also I want to mention what I like about this canvas by Joy Sunday and this is from IDIY paint I believe so what I like in here that canvas all the way around has a seam you see it's stitched all the way around from each side so it's not gonna fray and I love that because the one from Rioli I have to do by hand all edge, all edges otherwise I, it would be like coming out so I like this future in this uh, the colors a little crazy, but I'm, I'm getting used to, to them because it's absolutely different. Uh, I would prefer better if um, color would match probably color of the thread in here. But well, if this will be washed out, that would be beautiful. If not, I kind of I still can see the brown from you know from being like. I can see brown peeking okay you can see like this so hopefully this colors will dissolve in the water later I hope so okay so this is something that I like um, I definitely prefer softer canvas instead of the stiff like this so that's a minus for me but do I love how this looks like so far yes I do yes I do so guys thank you so much for bearing with me here and I promise I feel f I will figure out better position for the lights for the camera um, it's kind of hard sometimes I have a hard time to position my camera when I do my nails as well uh, I just have to think of the and see what work is best I know daytime is the best for this kind of stuff but now it's uh, 10 o'clock p.m. so I wish you all have a good day night and I see you in my next tutorial or unboxing something's going on because I do have a new package uh, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and talk to you soon